Toxisaurus here. We're not Toxisaurus, that was a lie. We I'm could sorry. be. It'd be really easy to change our name. Now we're Toxisaurus. Well, I mean, we don't have to change just the highest pronounced as an E now. I don't know. Anyway, today we've got another improv-ish kind of game for you guys. We're going to try and do more of these because I have a lot of fun with them. So does Wesley. And our improv workshops are fun. So. This one is called Don't Get Me Started. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple. We're going to pull suggestions out of a hat that have some kind of item or thing that the other person, the person who pulls it out, has, oh. to, has to rant about and why they hate it um, for about a minute. So, just get into it. I wanted you to have this. Ha! Books. Can't Look at it. Look at it. Dude, calm down. Took, calm. There so, you go. my biggest issue with books is they, they take all these beautiful trees that we got, cut them down, and then you just give them tattoos and you just sit there, you read, and you just hallucinate for hours on end of just looking at this dead tree with tattoos on it. It's a shame, really. And it's, 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 a, it's a smart man's game, you know? It's, mm -hmm. it's not for everybody. You gotta, be, you gotta have the brains, you gotta have the... You gotta have the tools to understand these books, and it's, just, it's not worth it. Not everybody can get into it, not everybody can... So you're telling me you don't have the tools for it? I, I'm not saying me, I'm just saying not everybody can, man. It's not, it's not an inclusive, it's not an inclusive thing going on, it's... So you're telling me you hate it because it's not for everybody? Yeah, I hate it because not everybody can get into it, you gotta, you gotta... But you can thinking, get into it's it. It's a thinking man's game. I'm a thinking man, I'm a thinking man. That's why I like manga so much, man. I read all the time. <laughs> No, manga is the same as books. Uh, the manga counts as well. Freaking... I hate it how they... Done. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> a minute. <laughs> books, man. They'll get you. Books. My it, misspelled aglet's on purpose. It's aglet, but Wesley misspelled it. On purpose. Purposely. I just threw it right there. Uh, ready? Or I guess I'll, I'll give you a second to compose yourself. <clears throat> okay. Ready? Yep. Go. You know... I can see the allure of aglets. They hold, they hold the ends of your shoelaces together, or other kind of laces. Like I believe, yeah, there's an aglet on on my sweater here. But I hate them, and here's why I hate them. See, they're just this use, not useless, but they're this little nondescript little plastic piece on the ends of laces and other ties like that. And you know, I feel like it's condescending. Why, why do the companies that make these clothing think that I can't, I can't like tie my shoes or something without something? to keep those from fraying. Fraying is just a part of life. That's what I feel like. I feel like if you if you fray a little bit at the edges, well, that's just another way to splice those frays together and make a better you out of it. But that's not what aglets stand for, and that's why I don't like them. Because they're just like, no, we don't want frays. We want things to stay the same always, consistently. But that's bad. You can't just be staying the same always. You gotta grow. You gotta grow and change. And you know, it's just <laughs> aglets. Time. Let's see what Wesley boy gets. I hope it's kittens. <laughs> bananas. Bananas that I misspell. I added extra in. Don't judge me, guys. Why are you always misspelling things? Cause I like to misspell. Cause it's a thinking man's game. <laughs> <It's just> <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You ready? Okay. Go. You guys know what the problem with bananas is? They're long. They're yellow. You know what they are. I know what they are. Bananas. So. Bananas are, they're, they're irradiated, man. You eat too many of them, you die. That's, it's ridiculous. What if I want to eat 160 pounds of bananas? You can't do it, you'll die. Radiation poisoning, it's ridiculous. You like potassium? No. You need to help your muscles? Pfft, screw that. I like getting cramps, okay? Bananas, who, who get, them out, get, get, the, get the bananas out of here. And then not to mention the smell, you eat those, bees are gonna be after you all day. Actually, I did read that the bees, they, they attack you if you eat bananas, so. And then, you ever do that cucumber thing with your cat? I'm sure banana works too, I never tried it, but you know. Try it, let me know how it works. Don't try it, that's mean to your cats, don't do that. That's why I hate them, because you can scare cats with them, dude, it's ridiculous. Bananas, the, and then the freaking, when you eat them out down to the bottom, and then there's that little brown part, nobody wants to eat it, it's worse than anything on the planet. And that's why I hate bananas. <laughs> Henry's turn. Maybe. Sorry, I'm still looking at the cinnamon toast can thing. <laughs> oh, good. Windows. Windows. All right. You got some stuff to work with on this one. Why do, why do I hate windows? That's the question. And I'll tell you. I'm about to tell you, you guys right now. 
And go. Okay, so don't get me started about windows, all right? Oh, There's so many things I don't like about them. One, glass. Who likes glass? It's just superheated sand. You know what sand does? It gets everywhere. It's terrible. I still have some in my pocket. I've been saying it's terrible a lot, and that's because it's bad, okay? Windows, what if you're trying to change, and there's a window right there, but there's no curtains or anything? People are just gonna see you changing, man. And then you just got your nips pointing places, and some dudes on the other side of the window like, hey, put those nips away, man. I see you. And you're like, oh, dude, I didn't know you could see me. We gotta paint over this window or something. That's the only, that's the only way. Like, curtain, curtains are all right, but what if you leave the curtains open? Then that window's still there going through. You gotta paint it. Take some black, red, green, whatever color you want, paint over that window. It's, it's not good. Also, another thing, they break because they're made of glass, like I mentioned previously. And when they break, what happens? There's glass everywhere. Now you gotta clean that up with the possibility of getting cut. You don't wanna get cut. Name one person that you know that wants to get cut. Nobody. See, windows? the worst. And time. <laughs> Freaking windows, man. Windows. Hate them. Can't, can't live with them. Can't want to live without them. <laughs> I still have sand in my pockets for my Oregon trip, guys. See, it gets it's... everywhere. And he, he hasn't even superheated that sand yet to turn it into glass. Not yet, not yet. But I'm about to. I'm really close. <laughs> I wanted you to have this one, too. Breathing. That means kittens is the last one. I got that. We don't know that yet? Yes, we do. Okay. Unless I didn't write it down or I only thought about it. <laughs> you ready? Ready. And... Tell me. You know what that is? Breath. Do it every day. Do it all the time. Sick of it. See? It's compulsory. It's ridiculous. Why is my body forcing me to do stuff I don't want to do? It... Look, it takes so much effort just to... I could just be sitting here just... That's not breathing. That's that's the ideal way. We're expending too much energy. We need that energy to survive. We need to be able to hunt and kill and eat. See? Imagine if you didn't have to do that. Breathing is the worst thing on the face of the planet. You don't breathe, your face turns blue. You don't breathe, you freaking... Your head, your face turns red if you're white like me. And it's... <laughs> It's, it's bad. It's a bad time if you don't breathe. And I think that the body requiring you to have to breathe is probably the worst thing the body has ever decided to do. I think you should just find the switch, turn it off, get rid of breathing altogether because that'll just make our lives so much more better. Nice. Good. Good stuff, man. You're right. You know? I don't like breathing. I don't like that. I don't even... Like, if I, if I, I tried during that rant, I was trying to not breathe. My body made me do it. Guys, press F in the comments to show respect for not breathing, and we're going to sign a petition to get rid of it. Also, if you don't like breathing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. <laughs> but if you do like breathing, hit that subscribe button down there. Let us know. Yeah, and if you maybe don't, I'm wrong. If you don't like breathing sometimes, but like to other times, like when you're trying to live, hit that subscribe button down there. <laughs> let, let us know what you think about breathing. We're, tr we're truly interested in what you guys think about breathing. But now... We've come take to the down last some serious, one. some serious business here. Now I put this this one in here because it's true, so true. Please don't ever get me started on kittens. Don't get him started. Every time I talk to him, it's kittens this, kittens that. Okay, they're everywhere, man. And, and let's go. See, here's the thing about kittens. They're just like normal cats, except small and more energetic. Now let me ask you, who wants that in a cat? Like, you just trying to sleep at 3 o'clock and suddenly these kittens are just running around the freaking house and just, they're just messing stuff up. And you're like, great, now I gotta see whether they knock something over or not because I thought I heard something knock over. Then you gotta get out of bed, you know. And if you're, if you're like my friend here and you work a day shift, you gotta get out of bed, you're ready to go to sleep, and you gotta go check on the kittens. You know what else I don't like about kittens? They're too soft. That's right. Now, most people don't think too soft is a thing, but let me ask you this. You ever touch something so soft that you just wanted to squeeze it? That's just like kids. You pick up a kid and you're like, oh, I just want to just... <laughs> <laughs> but you can't because it's a living thing. You can't go around just killing kittens by squeezing them. You're just like, what? You, you kill a kitten, then what? So, somebody comes up and they're just like, hey, why'd you kill that kitten? That's not cool. It's too soft, man. That's not a good excuse. And that's why I don't like kittens. Time. <laughs> Ooh, those kittens, man. Don't get Henry started. Can't get me started, man. I'll rant for at least a minute. <laughs> at least. <laughs> <laughs>
hope you like this episode. It's our first episode of Don't Get Me Started. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, if you liked it, be sure to check out our other videos. Uh, we do some improv stuff sometimes. Smash that subscribe button down there. If you want to get notified. Send, <laughs> send us pictures of your monitor after you smashed it. <laughs> yeah, do that. And we'll, we'll, rant, we'll rant about those too. Yeah. About why you should do that. I kicked the camera, I'm sorry. I noticed. I'm, sorry, I'm sure they noticed too. Hope you had a good one.